Hello! <laughs> Welcome! This is the story of how we moved across country. Yes. Every time I hear this song, uh, I Just Wanna Fail, I think it is, by a meaning from that one girl. It's like, they're like, look at the state we're in. And I imagine us driving across the country. <laughs> look at the state we're in. <laughs> Washington to Texas. Washington State. Washington State. Not Washington, D.C. No. We don't believe in that. That's that's a fairy tale. No. <laughs> Who no. lives there? No one anymore. Anyway. <laughs> no one anymore. So basically everyone was telling us that we shouldn't move. Yeah, they were like, you won't be able to afford it. It's bad. You just don't. You're gonna the be South? Lonely. Why? It's the South. It's Why would you move there? Like. <laughs> we did pick the most liberal part of yeah, the South. The we Austin. The South is racist and homophobic. People are like that everywhere. People are like it's that everywhere. It's a little more condensed, but it's fine. But it's just old people. Here. It's just old people. <laughs> yeah, moving was hard. Uh, but it's not expensive. as hard as everyone thought it was going to be because we're obviously still here months later. It was hard to get a job. Yeah. Like during, I mean, I guess during the times right now, it was especially hard. But yeah. yeah, like I came on a trip to Austin by myself first before we moved here. And I like went to a bunch of interviews and I didn't get any of them. They said that I would get it, but then when I moved here, they like, Literally, both know. of us had jobs lined me. up for when we came here, and then when we came here, the jobs disappeared. Yeah, they, so we I called them over. so many times, I never heard anything. It was just... I already yeah. worked at Nike, I was trying to transfer to another Nike, and this Nike was like, Sorry, who are you? I was like, I talked to you six times already. Joke's on Nike, because their stock's going down. It <laughs> it's been going down. It's been going down. I pulled so. out. Mm -hmm. I am endorsing Nike at the moment, though, so... Yeah, I just really like this shit. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We got a U-Haul and I was scared to do I was like nervous about it. Cause I don't know, I've never driven anything with anything attached to it. Yeah, we trailer <laughs> attached to my uh, car. We had yeah, we had her car which bless because Yeah, we had a lot of struggle with that <laughs> in the first place, because it is my car, but it's also not my car. Yeah. And I was supposed to take a different car, and that car didn't have a hitch attached, and we were gonna have to pay to get the hitch attached, and that was the, all the moving money in yeah. itself. So then, and it would have taken them too long. Yeah, it would have taken too long. Yeah. Um, the whole process, like, we were looking for a month, but then when we like found a place, it was like really fast. And it was just like bad timing. It was so it was, much was going so on. So much was happening, but it was also like we had to go. Yeah. And it was urgent. And I and I thought I had a job that they were waiting for me. Yeah. For so I was like, we need to get back there so I can start working. No. No. <laughs> the drive was fun. I look forward to it again. Hey. Okay. Even with the trailer attached, though, it wasn't. It wasn't that bad. bad. Like, I barely noticed it was there. The drive wasn't bad. They said <laughs> don't go faster than like 55, but I was going 80. The state of Montana. First. State of Montana. That was fun. Uh, saw lots of deer. Yeah, that's true. Um, lots of cows. Lots yeah. of nothing. Lots of nothing. Very <laughs> open plains. Lots of wind. That's what's up there. That was Montana. Yeah. And then... And we, Wyoming. Wyoming was the next day? Yeah. Yeah. That was also like... But we didn't stay in Wyoming. No. And then Colorado. <clears throat> Colorado was also boring. They were like, the colorful state. And I was like, where? <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to anyone from Colorado. Yeah. After Colorado, we're in Oklahoma for 10 minutes. Yeah. And then we're in Texas for 20 hours. And then we stayed at this super sketchy hotel. It was really scary. It was so bad. It was. <laughs> and I would take responsibility. <laughs> yeah, okay, hotel I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> the man behind the desk looked so done. He did not. We got there and these people were already arguing <sighs> with him about their room. <laughs> I felt so bad for him. <laughs> they were like, what was even the problem? 
they wanted a bigger room or more space, but it doesn't matter. He would, you could just see <laughs> the customer service look in his face. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> just like, and we were like, how? And then he gave us room. He was like, go check if it smells like cigarette smoke first. If you can stay in there for the night. It, yeah. And plot twist, we couldn't. Plot twist was terrible. <laughs> yeah. So we had to get a different room. And then, no, like, that was next to the people who were complaining. Oh, we yeah. were, like, outside, and like, was playing weird. music all night, and, like, they had people standing out there, and it was looking kind of sketch, and, yeah. Yeah, we just kept checking the car. Yeah, the barely slept that night. We brought our own covers <laughs> and stuff to that room. I don't trust those kind of motel I don't sheets. Trust it either. I mean, I don't trust like hotel sheets in general because I used to work at a hotel. But, but yeah, a motel is even worse, especially yeah. that motel. Especially that one. <laughs> it, it's even the non-cigarette room still smelled pretty nasty. Yeah. But we left super early <laughs> and came here, but not super early enough because we were an hour late. So we didn't get the keys. And we had to stay in another hotel. Yeah, they were like, oh, the office is closed. The leasing office is closed, so come back. Next day, got our apartment. We were supposed to have a washer and dryer in here, but they're like, how about instead of washing your clothes, a garage? So we have a garage. Yeah, we didn't know we were going to get a garage. We didn't ask for that. We no. wanted a washer and dryer. They said we had one, and we did not. It's empty. <laughs> yeah. And the blinds broke. Oh my god, yeah. The, 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 the like shed, <laughs> the balcony blinds, one of those thingies came off, but then the actual blinds in our bedroom also fell off Just the wall. Off it. It <laughs> fell crashing down. Did, did it hit you? Who did it? it Me. Went, yeah, yeah, it hit your head. It's also hit my head. I didn't expect that. Yeah, it was very scary. And what else? I broke the microwave. I yeah. broke. I'm gonna put I. All I did was try and open it like a normal person and yeah. the handle came off. And then the dishwasher fell out of the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then the dishwasher just didn't work. And then we found out there was a random switch that turns the dishwasher on and off. And then we had roaches! And we have roaches and we have ants. And by roaches, I mean we've literally had two. There was one in the garage that we murdered with a broom before we even... We just opened the garage and it was in there. And then... After we found jobs weeks later, I got up one morning and there was a roach on the floor and I was late for work. It's it was, not the worst apartment renting experience that I've had, no. but I have had some I've had a pretty rough time before, so yeah. <laughs> it's not a, it's not other the than best. that everything's nice. We're pretty close to the laundry and the trash and the exit. Okay, no. The pool's always closed. We're close to the pool, but it's always closed. There's two pools. The other one's 10 miles away. <laughs> the one outside of our window that you can see as soon as you wake yeah. up, we've never been there. It's always yeah, closed. Yeah, we can never swim. They're out. renovating it, and it's never open. But they aren't really renovating it. They're not. They added some plants in a grill. Which, they clean the pool every week, Yeah. but nobody's out going there. Those it's are our funny. complaints with this place. I, yeah. I mean, I also have like money complaints, but oh, I won't yeah. get into that because that's, that's, that's too stressful. That's <laughs> too stressful. That's too stressful. It's been going well. Yeah. I never lived with a partner before. Me neither. And it's so. been really fun. Uh, Octopus fact of the day. She, you know, you almost spoil the fact that I have, so I'll just say it. Um, the suckers on the octopus's arms can smell and taste things. So when they touch you, they're tasting you and smelling you. How does that make you feel? I say it like octopuses always grab you, but yeah, I wish they did. They are friendly enough and not scared of life. <laughs> as they should be. <laughs> as they should be. What are you gonna do when you run out of octopus facts? Do you think I can go forever? I'm not gonna run out. There's so many. There's like, there's over 300 species. I could just like go off about different species. I mean, I can switch it up. Cuttlefish and then squid. Yeah. We'll just go down the line. What, what's closest to an octopus? Cephalopods. <laughs> Cephalopods. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. It's a crazy thing planet. And we'll see you in the next one.